That was uh, on the motorway. We hit some bad traffic. We got here really late, and then the security would, um, were really slow in letting us through. Not the Peshmerga Mode security, the security of the building. Um, but we made it, and we did it, and it was a great show. It's not. Um, almost uh, like 21 years ago, I think. 21. Was it 21 or 20? Well, I think it was 21. Did the Schmort were discovered? Oh, yeah, when yeah. Open, <laughs> yeah. When they opened for you. Yeah, it probably um, was. How do you feel like opening for them tonight in front of such a you know, huge audience? Great. Audiences? It's great. It feels really good. Um, and it's good being with the Depeche Mode. You know, they're, they're great guys, and I'm looking forward to having a beer with them afterwards. Like last night, we had a little drink together. And but we lost the nice guys. Football, table football. They beat us at table football, yeah, unfortunately. It's not but good. We'll beat them tonight. Just because I, I was not in the game. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was good, though. <laughs> and, um, yeah, did you, did you always have a very tight relationship with Deep Touch Mode over the years? It's not a tight relationship. I see them every two or three years. Um, normally at a mute party or something. And, um, you know, we normally have a few beers together and that's it. You know, And then I just don't see them for another three years. So... So what did you do over the last past years? I mean, we didn't hear of you. That yeah, I, I I stopped making music for a while. Um, I kind of the the band I was with, the Pyros at the time, it came to like a crashing halt really, um, and I didn't make music for a while. Uh, then I slowly got back into it again. I was doing some music for the theatre, um, uh, and then uh, the most recent thing was I produced an album for these guys. Um, these three are a band themselves. They're called Temple X. And um, I produced their, their last album, which is out now. And how did you meet the Aust Austra uh, Austrian guys? Um, my girlfriend's from Austria, <laughs> and um, I met them through her. Servus. Servus, <laughs> servus. <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, what else? Um, did you record anything recently? I know you, you, you brought out uh, the best off record. Yeah, no, they're, they're all old songs, um, so I haven't recorded anything recently. Um, I'm going to be touring with the Pesh Mode um, up to October. Uh, November I'll be doing my own tour, which will take me up to the end of the year. And then in the new year, next year, I'll be making a new album. So you're, you're also planning on coming back? Did you club shows on your own after you did the uh, Yeah, I, we've done shows already before these uh, Pesh Mode shows. Um, we've, we've done three festivals. Uh, there's the Electro Fest in London, um, Aqua Planning in south of France and the Euro Rock Festival in Belgium, which is great. We were headlining every gig and lots of people and did, good reaction. Did you have a, an, like an older crowd, like people that knew you from the beginning? Um, yeah, there were those people, but surprisingly enough there were a lot of young people there. There were 18 and 19 year olds there and a lot of them were singing the lyrics as well, so that's nice to see. You know. And what do you think has changed, you know? You're around for so many years now. I mean, when you first started doing like electronic music, it was all you know new, and and nowadays every kid can do like music with their computers. Do you think mm. it has lost sort of you know um, I don't know power or energy? Um, I went through a phase where I wasn't interested in it anymore, but um, recently I, I found it. I started to find it a challenge again, and. Um, some of the new technology that's around now, um, I'm completely up to date with, with computers and stuff. Um, Temple X's album um, was recorded in, uh, live in the studio and then mixed on a computer. Um, and I'm, I'm finding that way of working exciting now. So I'm, I'm going to carry on work, working in that, that way. And so what do you think is uh, the main difference between Fat Gadget like two decades ago and Fat Gadget today? Um, I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> and the band's younger. The band's younger. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this, um, you know, it's, it's, we're doing the old songs now uh, to remind people of what I was doing that, at that time. And for the people that never heard Fad Gadget, you know, introducing them to, to my work. Um, I'm looking forward to next year when I'm going to be making new music and it'll be, it will be new music. It won't be 80s music, you know. Who wants to just listen to 80s music all the time? Yeah? I'm looking forward to making new music. Okay. And, um, you know, do you have any, like, special relationship with the city of Berlin? You know, like, either it could be um, a personal or a musical relationship. I mean, we had bands like Die Haut and Neubaut and Himalaria. Yeah, well, I've worked with Neubaut. Um, 
I, they played on one of my songs uh, years ago. Um, I made an album in Berlin in 1984, I think it was, 83, 84. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time in Berlin, and I like it, it's a great city. And have you done videos recently? Have I done videos? What, yeah, what? music videos. Um, some, yeah, but not as Fad Gadget. Um, under the name Frank Tovey, I made some videos, yeah. And did you do remixes for other artists, you know, that they put on their records? Uh, no, nobody's asked me yet. Would that be like a, a challenge for you? Depends on the band I was doing it for and the, the song. I'd have to listen to it and decide. But I, I'd be interested in doing something like that, you know, if I had time, you know. Is there any current song? It could be also a chart song that you would be interested in, you know, remixing? Um... Like Robbie Williams. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. Uh, well, if Depeche Mode asked me to remix one of their songs for their last album, I, I'd try it, yeah.